All right, y'all. So I was wondering what was I going to eat today because I am so hungry and I started to not even. Oh, look at my hair. Oh, my gosh. It was a hot day today. I started to not even do a video today, but I got some comments asking where was I? So I thought that it was a really good idea if I actually did do some videos today. But then I wondered, like, what did I want to eat? Like, I don't want just one thing. So I want a few things. So I'm thinking about doing like Red Baron deep dish pizza and um yeah I'm gonna do a video today some banana slices because I really want some banana slices and I really just feel like mm, not so healthy stuff today and maybe hey, yesterday, like Ma, yesterday cotton Mama, candy or Ma, whatever can you see that cotton interrupt. candy but then you say yesterday. I know I didn't eat any junk food yesterday. So I'm thinking, watch out. I'm thinking that maybe I could do video today. So see you guys soon. Alrighty, hey guys. Hi, I, hey, hey, my saucies. I haven't said that in a minute. Oh my goodness. So, like in the intro, I couldn't figure out what I wanted today. And today is actually Saturday, which kind of is a junk food kind of day. So, I felt like I shouldn't have to choose what I wanted to eat. So, what I'm going to have is... A Red Baron deep dish pizza. It's like the meaty one. I'm gonna have some banana slices and I'm gonna like chocolate covered banana slices. I'm also gonna have some cotton candy and I have a bottle of water. I really, really, really want to try these banana slices. So I want to get into this first. Can you see that? Yeah, really want to try these. And Jaden wants to try these too. He had a football game today. And he did really well. Like, mmm. A little different flavor, but it's good. It's like, It tastes a little weird, but it tastes like it'll grow on you. Jaden! Yeah. Come here. He's probably not going to like it. Yes. You want to taste the banana slices? The chocolate cup of bananas? No. You don't? No. Cotton candy. Mm -hmm. He would want to go for the blue. That's all the way down the bottom, right? You want me to just give you a whole half? Because the blue is kind of mixed in. So, actually, where you plan on eating this at? Downstairs. Not on the sofa, right? Yeah. At the at the table. Yep. Mmm. 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 I'm totally. In my happy place right now. Like, mm hmm. Totally, totally happy. I feel like this is like fair food, like food you eat at the fair or whatever. Yeah. Oh. Mmm. I want some more of this. This is good. Mmm hmm. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I got an idea. I got an idea. I want to 
gonna try something. Mmm. Wait a minute. Can't have too much, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put a banana slice into the cotton candy and make like a sandwich. Let me see. And then I'll get into the pizza. Check. Ooh, it's a cotton candy burrito. Mmm. Who would have thunk it? Pretty darn good. Mmm. 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 Let's clean this up a little bit. I just really didn't know what I wanted today. I can't even see half the stuff. Mm. Hold on, guys. All right. I had to redo some things. Ain't nothing but a thing, thing, thing. All right. A whole lot better. Y'all can see the stuff now. So, I'm put my little cotton candy on the back. Mm-hmm. I'm about to get into this pizza. So, like I was saying, Jalen had a football game today. And it just made me start thinking, like, oh, my God. My baby is really growing up. Like, wow. I started thinking about when I actually had him or whatever. Because he's 10 now. But, mm, this is so good. Mm-hmm. Some water. <sighs> Having him, like delivering him, was actually a hilarious story. Okay, so I was pregnant. My brother he teases me all the time. Because he's, I was pregnant for three years straight. So he says, oh, the only thing that's pregnant for three years straight is elephants. So he pretty much calls me an elephant because I was pregnant for three years straight. So my first pregnancy before Jaden and after my oldest son, I lost my daughter. I delivered her early. And then immediately after that, I got pregnant again. Like when I went to the doctor or whatever for my checkup, I was pregnant again. And when I was about four months pregnant, I was coming back to the office because I did clinical case management. So I was coming back to the office from a home visit and I got hit. Ooh. I want that. I don't care. It's my shirt. I want it. I got hit. I was in a car accident with a Baltimore City police officer. They hit me from behind. And I had a miscarriage and I lost my son. Immediately after that, I got pregnant again with Jaden. So, can you imagine being pregnant for three years straight? Oh my gosh. So tiring and exhausting. So, when it was almost time for me to have him, like when I was in my third trimester or whatever, by that time, I was so tired of being pregnant. So, I had to be about maybe like 
three weeks before my due date or something like that. It was really close to my due date. And I really, really wanted to have my baby. So, I heard that if you take castor oil, which is disgusting, by the way, so don't ever do this, but if you take castor oil, it was supposed to induce your labor, like make you start having contractions and stuff. So, like, but you have to, like, take the castor oil and then get physical for, like, 30 minutes. And then you're supposed to go into labor. Well, it all works. I'm not going to dispute that because I learned from experience. It works. So I took some castor oil secretly. I didn't tell anybody. Took some castor oil. Turned on the workout channel on demand. So I'm in the living room working it out, working it out, working it out. Like sweating it out. Right? Sit down, maybe like an hour later, boom, started having contractions, went into labor. It's the time, we about to get this baby out, life is going to start moving again. Okay, so I get, go to the hospital, because I'm in an act of labor, go to the hospital, and they assess me, yup girl. You are in labor. You having this baby. They hook me up. Contractions are coming real strong. So then they're like, let me, you know, do the vaginal check or whatever. So she gets down there with her little gloved up hand. And she feeling all down in my hoo-ha. She's like looking at me all confused. I'm like, what? What's going on? She's like, Miss Love, something weird. Like, you're contracting, but your cervix isn't dilating. I was like, what? That is so weird. I was like, yeah. Well, let me, let me, you know, give you a little while to come back and check you, check on you. I'm like, okay, fine. So. I'm contracting, 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 and she leaves, and the contractions are coming stronger and stronger, right? So, I feel like I got a poop, like do number two. So, she comes back in, and I'm like, I mean, she didn't come back in, a nurse came in. So they're like, everything okay? You okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. So they're like, I'm like, um, I feel like I have to go to the bathroom though. So is it okay if I get up and go to the bathroom? She was like, well, I mean, it's okay if you get up and go to the bathroom, but usually when you feel like you have to do number two, it's time to push. So she's like, let me get the doctor in here and let the doctor check you out. I'm like, okay. Honey, doctor came in, checked me out. I'm like a little over one centimeter, almost two centimeters dilated. Mind you, I've been in labor for about two hours now, almost three hours. So, she's like, you're still not dilating, but if you feel like you need to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom, but just don't push. I'm like, okay. I go to that bathroom. And she's like, I'm going to come back and check on you. I'm like, okay. I take some time. It's like my son in the room with me. My son's aunt in the room with me. Like his dad's sister. Um, My mom was in there. It was going up. In my mind, it was going down. Huh? Nick. Let me tell you. I went in that bathroom. Oh, my brother was in there too. My little brother was in there. I went in that bathroom. And I had to poop. For real. So, I'm in there and I'm pooping. And, because the, the, stuff, the stuff that I took gave me the, the poops. 
So I'm pooping and I'm on to I'm trying to hurry up and get it out. Cause I don't want the doctor to like smell all that stuff when she comes back in. So I'm pooping. I'm trying to get it all out. And at the same time, I'm having contractions at the same time. So I can't get up. Cause I can't stop going with number two. So F, the smell was like unreal or whatever. So after I'm done, I try to hurry up and clean myself up and get back in the bed and, and hook, you know, put the monitor back on my finger and, and stuff like that so the doctor could come and put the monitor back on my belly. So that, that worm was lit. I'm telling you, it was lit. So. The doctor comes in. I know she got a whiff of it. So she's checking me again. Like I'm clean down there because like I washed and all that stuff. So I'm fresh. So she checks me again. And she's like, I don't understand what's going on. Like you contracting and you appear to be in active labor, but you still not dilating. I hope you didn't do something stupid stupid and take something to induce your labor i was like no why would i do anything like that oh my gosh whole time i did that i sure did i did not deliver that night <laughs> i continued to be pregnant for like three more weeks oh my gosh I just thought about that story today when I saw my son playing football looking like a big boy. Like, I just can't believe that he is growing up. Like, next year he'll be in middle school. He's graduating the fifth grade this year. Like, oh my gosh. But will I have another baby? Absolutely not. Not. Mm -mm. Not this one here. Nope. I'm ready to live my life. I could slowly see my life come back to me. I love my son dearly. He is the apple of our eye. We treat that boy like a little king, like a baby king, like king baby. He is my king cutie. But trust and believe, I see my life slowly coming back to me. Slowly coming back to me. I'm going to enjoy this. Trust me. And to all you women out there who are pregnant at this very moment, congratulations to you. And I'm so glad it's not me. But don't. You. I'm talking to you. Sitting right there watching with that belly in your, in your lap. If somebody ever says to you, you can induce your labor if you just take such a stuff. Don't do it. Trust me. Take my advice. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Don't do it. Mm -mm -mm. I'm ready to start traveling. We will be making plans to travel. And stuff. I'm not making no babies. I'm making reservations. Mmm. Look at that. You want some? Think about it. It's good, right? Mmm. 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 So good. 
A wild cotton candy have to be so delicious like this. Mm, 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 mm. I missed y'all. Mm-hmm. Pretty soon I'm gonna hit y'all up with a seafood boil. Maryland crab style. I might throw some um, snow crabs in there too. It's coming soon. Mm, 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 mm. I had to take a break from the crabs though because y'all know I'm allergic. But we don't care over here. Ah mm, 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 mm. That's good. I just looked at that comment from I'm gonna shout you out, Skippy Skip. I looked at Skippy Skip's comment. And he's like, hey, where you at? It's Friday. I felt so loved at that very moment. I was like, you know what? Get up. And get your butt on that camera for your, for your supporters. Because at the end of the day, it's about y'all. Keeping y'all happy. And if y'all want to see your girl, I will make myself available to be seen. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I did miss y'all, though. I just been so busy. The blue is good. I should have put it in a, um, a drink. That would have been nice. Mm -hmm. I'm doing um I'm doing a a color food a food color for 24 hours video coming up. I think the color she picked was um, red from uh, Gianna. It's G and Lex. Shout you out, girl. She wants me to eat red foods for 24 hours. My video where I ate green food for 24 hours turned out really, really nice. So you guys should go check it out. Oh, and then I ate baby food for 24 hours, too. You should check that out, too. That food was disgusting. But you should go check that out. Oh. I'm going to eat one more. I'm going to sign out. Mmm. So good. I haven't had cotton candy in a long time. Mmm. Mmm. I forgot to do a thumbnail. Let me get a thumbnail in. Oh, I need one more. One more. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, thank y'all so much for the support. Thank y'all for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. If you're not part of the Saucy Gang, make sure you become part of the Saucy Gang by hitting that subscribe button so you can be part of the family and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time your girl loads a video. And don't forget to put a little sauce on your awesome and sprinkle it with a little razzle dazzle. Peace out. I love y'all. Bye-bye.